don't put this on the actual episode. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to say it again. <laughs> I think we should use that word throughout the entire episode. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this. Or should I wait for him? Oh, fuck him. <laughs> fuck that guy. What guy? That guy. This guy? That guy. <sighs> okay, don't look. Okay. So, some serious various. We're going to drink the Dos Equis. The Dos Equis? Dos Equis. 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 Ah, yes, yes, I am. And as a bonus, I'm being sexist. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Whoa, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. This is very funny and heady. Where's Joe? Oh, God. Hey, Mattel. Oh, God. Oh, God. So sorry. Four shot fail. So sorry. It's just a bonus. All right. Ugh. I got all the head, though. Oh, well, that gave you so much head. That's the best head I've got all day. Pulled out before. <laughs> not by you. Oh, not only that. That's the best head I've got all day. Ooh, it smells good. Looks like an apple. Mmm. We'll see. I don't even. Ooh, it's, it's a smoked beer. Hold on a minute. Go down, you head. That's what happens when you get good head. This one go down. Mm. I fucked your beard up every time you smoked. It's really fucking good. Delicious, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Where did we go to get really, we had really good smoke on something there? Well, Cartridge. Down by King's Island. They had really good smokes. I've never been there. I don't Was that what I went there with Zach? Yes. I, I, apparently, I don't remember it being I, smoked, I, or I just don't. That's the first place I remember. Really, I consciously remember myself having something that was specifically smoked, because one or two of them tasted like, just drinking liquid smoke as a beer. Not that it was bad. Maybe you had them, I did not. <laughs> I've been there a few times and you haven't, so. Yes. I've been there a The symptom, like the log you see on the symptom. Yes, yeah, so overflowing. Yeah. Was that, that, you know, there's been a few times I've been to Cartridge before Kings Island was at, so. The Warped Wing was the first smoke <sighs> one that I remember having. It was fucking phenomenal. I loved it. That's it. I'm going to eat the head off the top. Eat the head. Eat the head, Ron. Just eat that head. Please do if I can finish for you. Good job. <laughs> 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 Ron, <Rocha, laughs> head. Ron, that's right. Ron's going to be one of those no. old people who's going to have to have his food curried. Maybe. And then <laughs> next year, he's going to eat the rice earlier. Next year, thick liquid. Is what he's gonna have to have. Well, like that, hot, the, the the head it hit me, and it's a lot hotter than I expected. Okay, finally, we got that beer poured, kids. There's a lot of hop in that head. That's all I can say. It's a very red amber because when I saw it, I was like, "This is red beer." And it's got a fruity taste, or I mean, a fruity smell, which is really weird because it does not taste anything like it smells. It does taste smoky, doesn't it? Uh-huh. Oh, so then. Hmm. Okay, so now that I got past that hoppy hit ahead, does it taste that hoppy? It tastes fairly smooth. Still getting that like. Coffee? It's good. So this is exactly like we were talking about ourselves earlier. Like, oh, yes, there's definitely this flavor. No, <laughs> oh, yeah, there's so nothing like that in there. Was it like, there might be coffee. I can't remember. What was it like um, when that I brought part. that Guinness for the mystery for that one episode? You just uh, you never had Guinness before, and you're sitting there like, well, just the same way how I'm like, it tastes like a Guinness is what my brain's like. And you're just like, ooh, it's got like a licorice cherry flavor and all this. And I was just laughing, and I'm like, that girl doesn't know what she's talking about. She could be pissed as Guinness, and then she never had one. I got some of this on my fingers, like when I was pouring it and spilled it. And it smells like way different than on your fingers than it does. Like, there's probably all different mixtures right there. So I think my mouth, harsh? my mouth full of head, my mouth full of like headphones kind of got my flavor profile thrown off a little bit. Huh? I don't know if that it's cigarish, but kind of dogish on my fingers. It's probably the lemon, right? <laughs> Did you smell like three of the four beers? I've probably smelled every single one of them. Party foul. Look at that. Oh my god. 
Very good. So we're drinking there, y'all. Good one, them. Are we ready? Absolutely. We are drinking a wee heavy. A wee, a heavy? Wee heavy is heavy? actually a Scotch ale, Scotty Karate, by Dark Horse Brewing. Mm. And it is 9.5%, I believe. And I think it did have some smoke to it. So, Scotty Karate is a local one man band who plays an amazing flurry of honky tonk influence punk country songs. A big, bold musician deserves a big, bold beer. That's why Scotty and our Scotch Ale are a perfect tribute to one another. Scotty Karate has brewed the Cherrywood smoked malt instead of the traditional peat smoked malt, offering a warming note of coffee, caramel, and sweet caramelized brown sugar. Scotty finishes earthy. Giving this beer a character all its own, just like the man himself. 9.75%. Oh, 26 IBU. That, that's where the fruit smell comes from. Yeah, you know, right. What's cool about this, too, it tells you what it pairs well with. So it says it pairs well with spicy food, pungent cheese, and justice for all. I like when a beer tells like you what it pairs well with. That's, I like the can. It's very pretty, too. Mm. And yeah. I, like a yellow and purple tie-dye type shit. It's got like a like a lot of artwork on it. Not even like in the, the frame. Yeah, I know. I, we, I think we kind of do a bad job uh, <laughs> doing the, the can shot. So, like, when I went to um, I crafted and cured mm-hmm. with the uh, boards, the board that we got had like a um, a blue cheese on it. It said yeah, a bunch of cheese. This would be perfect with that uh Blue cheese that was on that board. I think a Swiss, Swiss aged Swiss and a Gouda would be good. Or maybe like a, a Parmesan. Not like a super aged, super dry Parmesan, but Parmesan. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the, the little character on this reminds me of the movie, um, the Christmas movie with, uh, God damn it, Coy Hahn and Kurt. What's his name? Hmm. What's her husband's name? Um, I don't know, but when it's funny because you said Christmas movie, I, I think the dude on there looks like a fucking, um, uh, Mogwai from Grandma. Kind of, yeah. And so when they're like a Christmas movie, I was like, Grandma's in a Christmas movie. Uh, let me see. It's on Netflix. I can't fucking think of it off the top of my head because I'm old people. I think old people. The Netflix. It's on the, it's on the Netflix. Netflix, guys. It's on the Netflix. All that they're interwebs playing. I find the four notes. The Marshall, Michigan, Dark Horse uh, Brewing. I like. There's a lot going on on the can. A weird ass character playing the drums. It's like looks like the, they're melting and distorted and all of that. And then there's like um, a guy riding a bull. Christmas Chronicles. There you go. Yeah, I could go for another one of those. That's pretty there's, good. There's a Dark Horse Brewing Company logo. So it's like a star with a horse on it, like a horse's head, and it looks pretty cool. There's a dude with karate. There's purple lightning bolts all over the place. There's a guitar, um, a DH, dark horse little thing. There's a lantern. There is a hop with wings. It's got this thing coming out of the top of it. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah. It it was, right. Yeah. It looked like the little guy on the can. Yep. There's a, I thought you were going to say, well, the first part of the can that I saw was a skull with a mohawk. And I thought you were going to say it was um, the one that we had last week that I brought, the the one, the, the Chicago the, one. Oh, the Revolution. Yes, I thought it was going to be another Revolution one at first. So, uh, uh, Dark Horse Brewing. I didn't find a whole hell of a lot with these guys, but we actually did have kind of an interesting, a couple of interesting deals here, if I can put them by the shit. Uh, let's see. They started in Upper Peninsula, Marshall, Michigan, in 1997, and let's see, he started in a dorm room, a dorm room, and they won several medals in brewing competitions. And they actually have 3,200 mugs that fill the ceiling and walls. And then it burned down in 2010 in a suspected arson fire. And they were actually uh, featured in a reality show in 2014 on the History Channel called Dark Horse Nation. And let's see, they owed, I think it was like $1.5 million in property taxes. Holy shit. Maybe not property taxes, but they owed property taxes. And then they owed, maybe it was $1.5 million on their mortgage or something. Um, 
They were bought out by Roke. I want to say Roak, but it's Roke, I'm sure, Brewing. But did they burned the, the place burned to the ground before or after that. Before, I think, yeah, before. Because arson and owing that much property taxes sounds like an interesting story. Well, it had like the arson, and then I'm assuming they had to like because they said it was rebuilt by like by the end of that year they started. What was it? They started rebuilding it like the end of the month, the end of the month that it burned or something. Okay. So, I don't know. Maybe. Huh. So they had it for a little while before the property taxes were owed. And they had like a reality TV show, so the guys probably thought they were rolling in the money it was going to last forever. And they were just growing and growing and forgot to pay their taxes and they were you know, just their bookkeeping. Or maybe they were just getting like further and further, further in the hole and that was just the way to try to dig themselves back out or something. Yeah. I really like it. I like it a lot. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Definitely good. It's stuff. very it's boozy. And you're right, yeah. it has coffee in it. You've got it and coffee. It's kind of caramely. Yeah, it is. Um it's everything that they say they have in it you can take. It's got the caramely flavor, it's got that coffee that, flavor. That was, it, was, it, was, my fingers it like wasn't the smoke it was it wasn't the smoked feet. Was the other thing that was smoked instead? Cherry wood. Okay, smoke and yeah, I guess that yeah. That's where the fruity smell I was getting kind of smell. Definitely where the smoke is coming from as well. Right, and it's smoked and yeah, it's got it's got it all. And I I, I love the boozy beer. I'm not and gonna lie. I don't know, like every single time we've had something that's been smoked, I've been super into it. I uh -huh. like smoked beer, man. Right. I love it. I I do. I see so like that the warp wind smoked. I think that would go really good with grilled cheese sandwich. The creep show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like tomato um, soup and grilled cheese sandwich, or like a chili and a grilled cheese sandwich. If we, I, this would not go as good with it. I think, well, you know, like with the fact that this says it would pair well with spicy food. I don't know. It would have spicy to have a chili, cheese sandwich. A spicy chili and then like a uh, Swiss cheese grilled cheese sandwich. I could see it with some kind of jalapeno or something. I feel like it would it would go good with stuffed jalapeno. I was going to say it would go good with the stuffed jalapeno. I don't think... Like, I, I don't think a tomato base would go good with it. It would have to be completely different than a tomato base. But that, the cherry flavor, like the cherry and the caramel flavor would not, in my mind, go good with the cherry, or a tomato base. Anything else would be good? The jalapenos would be good? I don't know. Like the bacon wraps of jalapenos. Oh, yeah, that would be good with it. Man, we already had dinner, but now I'm fucking hungry. Right now. That's right. I feel like, also, like, let's say, it would go good with a dessert, I think. It would pair well with, mm -hmm. say, like, a, like, I don't know, I think like a blueberry cheesecake. I was going to say cheesecake. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm thinking, like a blueberry cheesecake. And you could add some spice to a cheesecake, like, like a, make it spicy, like put some jalapeno flavor. You wouldn't want, want, you wouldn't want jalapeno pieces in it, but you could spice it up, like put some jalapeno. Just anything to to make it spicy. There are these things. I think they were called old fashioned cream bars, and I feel like those would go well with this. And I think it's kind of like a cream cheese with maybe like a pastry type. Something that would be good. There. I think. Yeah. Okay. I think that that would be what it would go best with, like some kind of a cheesy dessert, like a Danish. Uh huh. Yeah. I, I would agree with all of that and more because I'm fat, and that all sounds delicious. Very. I'm fat. At Fat at heart in a little fat too. My heart is fat, my gut is fat, my ass is fat. Ron's got a lot of this real fat. Ron's a dad bod. A dud bod. <laughs> if I keep going, it's going to go beyond dad bod and just straight up fat ass bod. But that's beside the point. Dude, I just saw something today. Or not today. I saw a meme and it was like something about dad bod, like the old Batman and Robin. And how they have dad yeah. bods, and I'm like, they didn't have dad bods though. I'm like, but, I'm failing to see how this is a dad bod. I, I feel know. like I feel like it's all wearing a Batman that. shirt. So Rain, uh, Raven side They had like a normal body. They had they had a normal body. Like it was skinny and they were fit still, but like, they weren't bods. But they didn't they have the like the they were dad like bods. fucking ripped like they are but now. They like were, the fucking fans are just so ridiculous now. Well, and that, they were, they're they were healthy bodies. They were not like they were, guys that don't eat a steak or guys that, you know, will only eat like so many calories, can't touch a beer. My muscles have muscles. 
You know, they don't have yeah, like, it, you know, wouldn't be like washboard abs where their six packs have six packs and shit. They, yeah, they were basically a normal body. Someone who does not work out but does not have that. It looks like they've worked out though. They just didn't get ridiculous like they do now. Like, they're not Roy, like. Roided out, tiny pecker looking. Yeah. Ah. I mean, that was like normal. Like, that's how people look back then. And it was like, I don't know. I just think the standards are ridiculous. I, I think they're, they're dad modded because I'm going to take a look at that. But I almost feel like it's. The Batman would probably have maybe like a tiny bit of a gut, huh? So oh, like yeah. my favorite thing. And then I looked in the comments, and there was a picture of him shirtless, and I'm like, he looks fucking good. So my favorite thing to talk about when uh, referring to uh, the, the classic Batman being like you know the dad bod and the hotness. So back in the day when they made the original like 60s Batman, they always had a problem not with not with Batman, but with uh, Robin. The uh, actor that they had playing Robin, they constantly accused him of stuffing his shorts. That's funny. Like basically, you know, stuffing a sock in there with his shorts. I feel like and I they never had whipped it out in front of him. Like, and and basically, they kept trying to do everything they could because the boy Wonder was a little too wondrous and he had a big pecker. And they had to like keep doing things to like get him to move his junk around so it didn't look as big on screen. I feel like. There, that's the picture. It's a little dad modest. He's got a little bit of chubby. Well, we still got a good Then, it's a little, it's, it's like. It's also like. I think not, there's a parameter of like a dad bod where it's like, oh yeah, he, he's just got, he's flat, but he's not and unfit. I, and then it's like, oh, he's got 20 extra pounds. He's well, going to get, like. It was five extra pounds. Well, it changed with like the 1989 Batman movies and the ones that came after that because they, they went from like that, which was just kind of like, you know, a stretchy like leotard type outfit to like the 1989 Batman movie where they were like... A hard dude, plate. They had a hard plate. They were doing like sculpted abs in it. And what was it like? The third Batman, the fourth Batman? Yeah, he, he was actually pretty... Yeah. The, there was a, the Joel Schumacher Batman where they started crafting... Bat nipples into the bat suits. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking hilarious too. Yeah, this guy's not too. I mean, he looks. He looks like a normal, like fit. He, um, yeah, he actually looks fairly fit with a shirt off. Now let's be honest, guys. Adam West is always hot. Adam West is so hot. I think he is hot. Like whether he's the mayor family guy. Old enough to be my granddad. <laughs> or like you know, you're gonna have to get a shovel though. Uh, like I'm about to do him. He did die a few years ago. I am too. <laughs> 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 Like, it. That's that's you're gonna be on your only fans. Do you ever have I don't like think they have a policy against that? Do you ever have like weird scenarios in your head? Like I had Watched and I can't fucking think of really. what the hell I was thinking of. But there was like something like I had a scenario in my head where somebody said something about like they're dead and I was like, I'm into that or something, just like fuck with them. But also, like have you guys seen those memes where like Americans will like measure anything without the metric system or whatever? Yeah, yes. So at work, we have uh, trash bags that are like really huge, and I always measure trash bags by how many bodies I can fit in them. That's legit because, like, car trunks when you're car shopping is kind of a similar thought. Yeah. It's how many bodies can I fit in that? I'm like, like is this weird? Because, like, but, I keep seeing that meme, but, and I've done this for years too. I'm like, oh, dude, like, they have these really huge trash bags that I have to use every once in a while, and we ride out the little ones. I'm like, dude, I can fit like four bodies in this. And somebody's like, I think you can only fit two. And he's like, you must be doing smaller bodies than me. And I'm like, uh, like, maybe I'm I would have been like, uh, crawl in here and test it out. Believe me, I thought of that. Like, <laughs> you crawl in here and we're going to get three other people. I'm going to prove your ass So, uh, along the same lines, my, like, car trunk thing is all modern car trunks are tiny and puny compared to, like, you know, the 70s boats. Remember how big those car trunks well, were? And wasn't there more serial killers back then? Too? Yes, there was. There was, like, an abundance of so, so that must be why there is so like correlation I, I can't throw 13 bodies in my trunk anymore. Just drive around out. like that all day. Right, exactly. My freaking Prius! Oh my God, I can't carry that many corpses in the back anymore. And be environmentally friendly. Half a body, you would have to come back for the rest of it. God, I gotta chop it up too. Oh my God, that's just so much work. Yeah. And that yeah. there I offended the gays in this episode. I've been racist, sexist, right. homophobic. Wait, 
So, uh, they cancel? Do they cancel people? So I don't really have probably. to worry about canceling lately. Uh, well, they haven't canceled anybody lately. They're trying to cancel TikTok, but, you know, well, then they can. <laughs> Yeah, they'll yeah. get they'll get there early one on that. We'll see. They're uh, actually the was well, it during Trump's thing they were going to try to cancel TikTok and then they're like, oh, I know, we'll force it to be sold to like a majority stake just an American company and then he got out of office that faded away for a while now they're just talking about straight up banning it again. There's a bill that so I don't think they're going to ban it now. There's a bill that they're basically. Like, okay, fine. If if we if we're not gonna ban TikTok, there's going to be a bill basically saying that the US government can go in and just search anything that's connected to the internet. So I don't know So they're gonna let everybody into anything forever. Right. And I don't you know, I hear people putting these scenarios out there, which I don't know if this is blown out of like proportion or whatever, but they're like, your ring camps, those are connected to the internet. They can fucking spy on you through your ring cam. If you have home security inside your house, they can spy on your cameras looking right at you. So they're basically like that. That bill would allow the, the government essentially to be able to do that. But I, I personally haven't looked into the bill. So this uh, is what people are putting out there. Well, I'll, I'll just state it's kind of like the NSA and all the powers that they got after ever, the government got after 9/11. They're like, we'll put these down after 9/11. And then 23 years later, all that shit's still in place because well, we still have threats, so we still need it. Right. And once you let that sort of a genie out of the bottle, it never goes back. Hey, Ron, why don't you show our viewers your hands? My hands are blue. Ron's insisting an Avatar character. Either an Avatar yeah. or Smurfs. Do you think, whichever gets your kink off better. He said Avatar earlier. The, the like giant blue yeah. people, blue Smurf people from the, 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 the Avatar movie, totally fisting them. That's just what happens. And what that really is, he actually has been painting his Harley. My, my Harley's going to be all pretty. I was not really in the mood to repaint it, but last year, the uh, got a spot little break on the fuel tank, and I had to take it all apart and repaint it. I rebuilt the engine last year. Repainted it this year. It's like a new whole new bike. Go me. So we did a radar last year. Oh, yes. Yeah, so oh, um, um, he's a four. He's a four. I would definitely give it. Yeah, I would. I would give it a four. I think three point seven five. That was your favorite of them all. Yeah. Really. I would. Well, then I give the other one a four. See, I gave all of five. I think I gave the um, um, watermelon. He gave so I gave all uh, basically all of the the shanties. They were all three shanty. Shanty. <laughs> Whatever. Do a little shanty. He, he, he tasted small beat down houses or like sheds. I think that's what it's the, they all tasted yeah. about the same to me. Yeah. Just a slight different flavor. I did not. Liked them, I did not dislike them. I thought the lemonade of those were that was the best. Um, as far as this, this is a good pour. Um, it could have been higher, but my first taste was a mouthful of head foam, and I got a lot more hops than I think were actually in. Four, I think four point five for the Scotty Karate. I'm going with a four. Four. So because like that, that warped wing is what has me sold on smoked beers, and I feel like. I just don't like the cherry flavor as much in here. Boozy, smoky, amber. Uh huh. Um, coffee, but yes, coffee. coffee. And I think that's what kind of throws it off too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really don't have to say anything because that's pretty much what I was getting out of it as well. Um, uh, what else is there? Is that about it? Cherry. Is that kind of fruity? Mm -hmm. Kind of that fruity scent to it. Fruity. Aromatic. I, yeah. Definitely. Foamy. There was a lot of head on that. There was a lot of foamy. A lot of carbonation. Um, I, I enjoyed that. I think that was my favorite of the three. Absolutely. Four. Well, uh, you know, four. Uh, I had a good time. I can't count wrong. We drank four beers. <laughs> Plus the three beer. Plus the three beer. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. Mutton beer, full beer, flea beer. Ah, ah, ah. We need to set make sweet characters to help us figure out. Is that a copyright infringement? We better only mm -hmm. hold that down for like three seconds, Ron. Ah. We, we might ah, get a, a new ah, 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 This is allowed. The, the count is counting the number of times she's fun. One, two, three, four. Oh, the count's already done. Okay. He's a dope off the jump. Are you going to have a burger? There you go. <sighs> Now I can't do a burger or any first station. I was going to try it. It's been too long since I've heard them. Cheeseburger. What do you get? 
Hey, Bert, why do you keep putting me in my prison pocket, Bert? <laughs>